Hi everyone. Right, I've got two kits available here. And um, the box, well, you've got things to alter. So they're just altered kits. And what I'm going to do now is just go through it with you. So I obviously want to share what you get. And um, these kits, I'll tell you right now, are £18 each. But you've got quite a bit in there to alter. So, and there's quite a few goodies. So what I'm going to do is just go through it bit by bit. Now, I've put in these, because you've got things to alter, what I've done is I've chosen a small rose, which I absolutely love this paper. That is only a small tissue. Like that, it's just beautiful. Uh, which will cover anything. There's three things here to alter. Um, and that one, I absolutely love that. I really do. But you don't have to use it all. You can just cut sections out and put it on the box, on your, on your uh, things to alter. Now I've chosen this because I think these are going to look beautiful, uh, particularly on this one. Um, if you didn't choose to use the tissues, you You could use paper tissue, crumple it up, glue it on, darken your clock, it's got little hands there as well, and then put that in the centre and then decorate around it with a frill. That would look absolutely stunning and a nice, small, neat project for somebody. So you're getting that one to alter with the clock, plus those two little shadow boxes so you can, I don't know, um, See, I think of things like day and night. Um, you could just do like a little miniature room. A really tiny one. And make the things yourself. So you've got that one to alter. And then you've also got the hat that you can alter as well. So there's lots and lots of things you can do with them. I mean this one especially. You could uh, attach that to that and make a fairly large one. Uh, you could stand it that way. I don't know, whatever you want, you can hang it. Have them hanging between each one. So, think outside the box. Plenty for you to do. Now, I have added the cord, because if you're going to hang it, the two between each other, then you're going to need some cord. And it's kind of like pink-ish. <laughs> so, two metres of that. I've also given you this, because I just love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the thing is about this look, let me just show you. If you careful with it, because it lays flat like that, you could actually do it like that. And then you could put a bead in around the middle or something like that, and then hang that. That would be gorgeous so that it spins and you could decorate something on the back. And then, So when it spins, you'll see it all the time. So there's um, that gorgeous, gorgeous trim. I've added these because uh, instead of giving you individual ones, look, you can get plenty out of this one. So just cut it. And that, oh, you might want to keep it as it is. I love them. Uh, some beaded string, of course, which is the pink one, but all can be painted. If you're putting it around the edge of a box, everything can be painted or coloured. Putting this one in as well, which is the love heart beaded string the braid a lovely braid but again it can all be painted you don't have to keep it as is this gorgeous one which is the indi well you can cut it individually and go around the box and then put little blings in the middle whatever you want to do with it it's uh, completely up to you oops it is it I put the multicoloured daisy one in because these are great if you just want to cut individually. So they'll go a long way. There's a lot of projects you can use those on. And you've got a choice of colour. So if you only want blue, you take the blue. If you want the orange, you take the orange. It's coming up Halloween, so I'm sure some of them will be useful. But um, And then yellow for Easter. See? Think outside the box. Then we've got this trim. 
which looks fantastic if you make a flower. And with this piece, I could make two very, very gathered flowers. It's just gorgeous. Really gathers well. I've put two of these flowers in, and they're like a duet flower. So they can be painted any colour you want. Break them up. Take the back two pieces out or, or whatever and you use them with different ones. You could put one of those in the middle. It's completely up to you. But you get six of those as well. I put a bit of this in in case you are going to make a dangle. You know, like a box that hangs from the wall. Because that's a beautiful trim to dangle as well. So you're going to get that. Um, if you are, like I say, you could put that on the top. Let me just show you. I like to give you ideas. See... Now, if you want to go and do it that way, and then you could write on pencil, whatever you want to do, paint on um, your name of whatever your piece is, and then you could hang that. So that's one project, or you could do it this way. Sorry, I'm just going to have to share with you because it's nice. People like ideas. You could actually attach that. See, I would take that off, that roundness off, and lay it flat. And then you need a little pointed card at the back or a piece of wire and that will hang from there and then you can punch a hole in the middle um, and hang that from there it's different ideas and then on top of that i've given you one of these as well i mean they're, they're just flimsy but um use them you know what i mean and then we've got a box of goodies here so i'm just going to put those to one side So I'll go through it bit by bit. Now, what I've done is, yes, I have plenty of these. Um, I do collect spoons, as people know. Um, but this one, I just love this one. It's like a bamboo handle. Uh, and I've got quite a few of these. So I've given you a spoon to decorate because I don't know what you want to do. But, you know, when you're doing a box, you've got to think outside the box. They look great. It depends what you're doing. You might want to do something to hang in your kitchen. You know what I mean? So let's just go through this anyway. We're going to do that. Now, I've given you one of these, the heart, um, and just colour it any way you want. They'll paint, you can spray them, you can do whatever you like with them. Now, if you wanted to do, um, uh, put the shoe in, do you see what I mean? I don't know. It's just something for you to think about. Like that. Um, and there's a heart to go with that. You can hang from the, the bottom of the box. You've also got a diamante key. You've got some diamante bling. Two pieces of diamante bling. You've got a clock you might want to use. A beautiful pearl butterfly. Beautiful. A stick pin you might want to make. Now for the stick pin, I did put in... Yes, I did. Somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Right, here we go. So, what I've done with the stick pin is I've put in a very tiny bling bead. And they're crystal beads, those. Um, a rose glass bead. There's a rose inside it. With the pearl. Um, and you could just have that. That's really elegant, pretty. Or you could take that off and have the big diamante bead. Like that. So that's completely up to you what you do with them. There's another piece of bling. One of those little florets. I've put this in in case you want to do... See, I'm like this. I would do something like this. Put the corners in. Well, they're not corner pieces, but you could use them like that you see and the other one you could do i won't do it with yours <laughs> let me just get another piece so i can show you what to do um which is just think outside your box about what you're going to do with all your pieces a lot of people leave them plain in that and no you don't want them plain so what you do if you want you if you wanted it turn it upside down and put it on there but then you can do this and you can roll there like that see 
and then paint it just to be different so you're getting four of those but like I say it's completely up to you I put in one of those because you might want to hang something from it you got a bling cross a crown which is a it's an actual um, brad but you can take the back off and use it as a crown a vintage cabochon some oh and that I put that in as well the bead cap uh, some camas uh, camisoles camisoles uh, cameos oh my god losing it losing it food come on um, that on the front if you want to put that on a key a little charm several buttons that you can play around with and we've got some of the cut glass ones cut crystal ones should I say they're not glass they're uh, cut crystal so I've put six of those in like that you've got some wooden ones one large and four small to play around with in pink but you can still alter them you don't have to keep them as is one of those to hang if you're making a charm I've put two yeah a large and a small if you want to make a handmade flower and then pin it onto it one in white one in pink multi of the clusters three of the um, little bows I mean those as well could go on corners Uh, three of the rolled roses pink cameo six of the tiny frosted pink flowers um, but if I show you the stick pin uh, if you've got any spare stick pins I, they're not included but you only get the one um, oh if it was a pearl one look the pearl would go on there or you could stick that on one of those another cameo which can be painted the claw if you're going to hang something again and then just a little charm on another glass bead and acrylics so lots for you to play with and um, just a case of think outside the box that will be left very flat that with that and then and those as well okay so it's think outside the box and play it's the best thing so if you're interested in that kit uh, that's 18 pound plus shipping lots and lots and lots of goodies For you to play around with. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.